Hello everybody, my name is Marlo and welcome back to my custom villager houses tutorial series where we are building a house for each of the Minecraft villager professions. So if you don't want to miss out on the rest of these few remaining builds, we only have three after this one, you can subscribe. But all of these are from my survival series where we are making a custom village and the original concept of this series as you guys know by now is from Mythical Sausage. Both my playlist and his are going to be down in the description if you want to check that out. So far we have done the cleric, weaponsmith, fisherman, cartographer, shepherd, butcher, leather worker, armorer and fletcher houses, but today we are building a home for the stonemason. And here is your materials list for the build. At the top, as always, we have our spruce and oakwood variants, and then on this row, as well as the bottom one, are just the rest of the miscellaneous blocks that we're going to be using in this build. And then in the middle here, we have a bunch of different stone types. Cobblestone, andesite, regular stone, and stone bricks, as well as these four along the end here, and some buttons, of course. These are just averaged amounts, so a lot of them are rounded up to the nearest nice number, shall we say. So you probably going to need a little bit less than I actually have in here, but go ahead and gather all of this up and then we can get to building. The size of this stonemason's house is roughly 17 by 11 blocks, so this right here is the area we need to build this in, and the first thing we're going to do is start off facing where the front of the house is going to go, and place some strip spruce logs as our pillars. Now we're going to place that one there and leave one, two, three, four, five blocks of gap in between and then five more around this side as well and the final side can be five again and should line up with both of those pillar blocks. Each of these can then be brought up by seven more blocks for a total of eight so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, three more times. And once we've got all of those brought up, we then just want to come around to the front of the house here and go one, two, three, four blocks up. And then we're just going to have some horizontal logs going all the way across. So we'll do that on the front and then the two sides as well. But around the back here, we're just going to have one log in the middle here brought up by four blocks in total, where we can have two more horizontal on either side. So the back should be looking like this, but the other three sides should just have that line going across. Next up we can grab our spruce planks and stairs and come round to the left or the right hand side of the build. These two are going to be completely the same but we're going to have an upside down spruce stair on the top of that log there with a regular one coming out the back. We'll then have a spruce plank on top of that one with another stair on top with an upside down one coming off the front of that one. We'll do the same again with two full planks and two stairs on top. Another two upside down, but instead of having a full plank this time, we're just going to have another regular stair like so, with one upside down in the center. And then we're going to have two placed just like this on the very top point. So our roof shape should be looking like this. We can copy it on over to this side as well. As for the front and the back of the build, what we can do is simply have an upside down stair on this top log right here, and then a line of slabs going all the way across from one side to the other, which we can then copy around the back of the build here as well. Just like that, and then we can come up to the top here, and we're just going to stick a temporary block right here with a trapdoor on the bottom part of it, change to a slab, come back to trapdoor, slab, trapdoor, slab, and then the final one is a trapdoor at the very end here. So that right there is our spruce outlined roof. Next up, we can come around to the front of the house here, and just beside this top pillar block here, we're going to have a white terracotta, leave a gap of one, and place another right there, where on top we're going to have two strip spruce logs, and then we're going to have a spruce stair on top of those, with an upside down one in the center, with a regular one at the bottom, and a glass pane can go right there. And then we just want to grab our oak planks and stairs and where we see a spruce plank we want to have an oak plank and where we see a spruce slab or stair sorry I should say we want to have an oak stair. So very simply we just want to do this for the entire roof. Now that we've got our roof done, we can start working on the stone cutting area, where the stonemason will actually be working most of the time. So next to this spruce pillar here, we're going to leave a gap of two and place one more, then leave a gap of one, two, three, and go back by one block and place another. 
Same again around this side, so two, one, two, three, back a block and place one there. Each of those can be brought up by two more pillars like so. And then we're gonna grab some stone brick slabs and place the first one right here, diagonal away from this block on the bottom part of it. And for all of the stone in this build, we're gonna be using a mix of stone bricks, cobblestone and andesite, as well as cracked stone brick. But just for simplicity sakes, I'm gonna be using the stone brick and adding that all in later. But we're gonna grab our slabs either way, whatever block you happen to have on hand and have one, two, three, and four blocks. Then we're gonna have one, two like that, and then another two right here. Same again around this side as well. So there's one, two, three, and four. And then we'll have ourselves one and two, and then two once more with three across the top here at the very end. And then we're gonna come up by half a block and have one, two, three, four again on both of the two sides. Another two like that, and then another two again with one more at the very end here. And then simply we can go up by another half block and go ahead and fill the rest of this in with some slabs. And then once we've got our roof all done, we can grab some spruce trap doors and on all of these outer slabs here, we're just gonna place a spruce trap door on the bottom just to give it a nice outline like so. As far as making a wall to fence off this area out here so our villager can escape and to make it look nice of course we're going to be using a mix of full blocks, slabs and stairs. So I'm not going to show you how to place each of these block by block otherwise it's going to be like a five minute clip for something that really isn't too difficult. But let's say for this example we just have a full block right here and maybe an upside down stair around the front and then we just have a couple of stairs out the front maybe and one curved round to the side and possibly for this one over here we can start with an upside down stair change to a full block and maybe have a couple of slabs there and, and maybe even a slab on top of that block like that if I could actually <laughs> place it down so we're kind of making this like messy wall design using all of these three blocks here going all the way around so there really is no specific way to do this but yeah something a little bit like I've shown you here so that you eventually end up with something a little bit like this. Now I'll just do a couple of sweep arounds here in case you do in fact want to copy this block for block, but as long as you've got something similar, you should be all good. So before we add in our texture using the crackstone brick, cobblestone and andesite, we're just gonna go ahead and finish the rest of the stone part of this build, which is actually gonna be everything on this bottom level here, beneath this beam going across. So to begin with, we can grab our full blocks and have three next to this pillar here here with an upside down stair at the top and a regular one at the bottom. Three more just beside it with an upside down stair here and then three more next to this pillar. So we're gonna have a doorway here and a window here. As for the left hand side of the build, we're gonna have a line going across the bottom with two either side like that with a line of upside down stone brick stairs at the top. So we have a big window on the left hand side. As for the back, we're going to have a regular stair at the bottom beneath this pillar, and then we're going to have three full blocks either side of it with one more at the top. So the back should be looking like this, a space for two windows. And then quickly, we're just going to hop inside and next to these pillars, we're going to have three on both of those upside down stair at the top on both sides with a slab in the middle. So it should be looking like this from the inside. And now we can go ahead and texturize all of this stone, as I said, using the cobble, andesite, and cracked stone brick. So make sure you give all of these a good changeover to create something that gives you a bit of a mixture, just like this. Now we've got all of the texture added in, we can go ahead and fit our doorways and windows. So of course our spruce door is gonna go on the back of this block right here. And on this window, we're gonna have an oak trap door. Coming around to the left hand side, we're gonna have three glass panes across here. And then we're just gonna stick three grass blocks and kind of make a little bit of a flower bed covering up with some spruce trap doors. Stick some flowers on top of that one right there. And as for the background here, on the left hand side window, we're gonna have a spruce trap door right there. And on this block, we're gonna have an oak fence gate placed sideways on this one and open it on up. And then we're just gonna stick a spruce trap door on front of it, close it on up like that. Just looks a bit like a different shutter, partially holding it open. And then we'll just stick two glass panes in the center here. Coming around to the front of the house here, we're gonna complete this line across the top with white terracotta, just like that. And then we're gonna have three more on the left hand side here, leave a gap of one and then place six more blocks just like that with one more in the corner. So we have something that looks like this with these two gap open. And then we can place a spruce stair on this block right here. 
and come down to this doorway and place two brick walls either side of it, two spruce fences above it with two more brick walls on top once again. We can then grab our spruce trap doors and have three just placed down like so, with five placed on the sides of those trap doors where we can flick them up to make a miniature balcony of sorts. There will eventually be a doorway in this spot, but we'll leave it open for right now. We can then grab our ladders and have two either side of the open spot for the doorway and change over to some oak fences and have two right there where underneath we can have an upside down oak stair with a flower pot on top and then finally we can just have a spruce trap door on top of this oak fence. So we eventually end up with something that looks like this for the front. As for the left hand side round here, just above this pillar block we need to have a line of horizontal strip spruce logs going all the way across where we can then have two oak planks here on either side with two above it just like that. We can have a oak stair on the bottom and leave a gap of one and have an upside down one at the top and a glass pane can go in the centre there. We can then get three oak buttons and place them just like that. And next up we're going to grab our white terracotta and have four on either side just like this with a line across the bottom and the top with two more in the centre there so we have these window gaps where we can place some glass panes in just like that. And then on the corner block here of this white terracotta we're going to have an upside down oak stair on either side slab next to that one with a regular upside down stair in the middle. We can then change over to some spruce fences and have two on the outer block here with two oak slabs above it and then a line going all the way across the top where on these two spots we can have some flower pots and of course put some flowers inside of them. As for around the back of the build, we're going to grab our white terracotta once again and have a line going across the bottom as well as across the top just like that. We'll then have some oak fences next to this pillar block and then four white terracotta just like that, two more oak fences and then two more white terracotta. We can then change over to some spruce trap doors and on the right hand side of these oak fence windows we'll just place some shutters down like so. And then we can grab some oak stairs and have an upside down one underneath both of those fences with a trap door on the outside block like so with two fence gates in the middle there. For the final side around here we're going to have a line of white terracotta and then another one just on top with two either side of it like that with three across the middle so we have this spot here to place some glass panes in just like that. Very quickly we can also add a strip spruce log horizontally going all the way across like that to section off those two parts. We're then going to have an oak stair here upside down on the outer block here with one curved round to the side on either side so we get something that looks like that with an oak slab in the centre there. We're then going to have one spruce fence on either side of these outer stairs with one oak slab on top and then just going up diagonally until we get something that looks like this where from that centre block we can hang down a lantern and again have a couple of flower pots. As for this top section we're going to do a similar thing to what we have on the other side so we're going to have two oak buttons on those outer blocks, two planks above it with a stair in the middle, two planks either side with a full plank at the top or a stair if you want to doesn't really matter all that much but we're going to stick a glass pane here and have two spruce buttons either side of it. And that right there is the outside of this build all done, exterior is complete, we can now head inside and start work on the interior. The first thing we're going to do inside of here is grab ourselves five spruce trap doors and line them across from one pillar to the other one and flick them all up just to barricade off this little area which we will build something in later. But what we can go ahead and do after that is get rid of all of this grass and place down our floor which is going to be a mixture of stone brick, smooth stone, polished andesite and gravel. So we get something that looks a little bit like this and as you can see all I've done here is kind of mixed up the blocks all together. So on the inside section here we mostly have stone brick, smooth stone and polished andesite but as you can see we slowly transition the polished andesite to gravel out here in the working area. So just kind of do a little bit of a mix of all of these blocks until you get something like this. Just above this entranceway we're going to have two lines of oak slabs going across from one side to the other and then we're going to have one, two, three and four and leave that block open for now, do the same again and then simply just have one, two in that corner, leaving us with a gap to have a staircase in. So we're going to have an oak stair on the window pane here in the middle just below it, 
upside down one off the back, a regular one on top, another upside down, and then we'll have one facing into the wall, upside down one right here, a regular one can go here, and then to complete the ceiling slash floor to the second level, we'll just have an upside down stair there. So our staircase looks something a bit like this, and as you can see, closes off nicely from the bottom level and the top one up here. So up here on this second level, the first thing we can do is actually break away these five four blocks here and replace them with oak stairs upside down. So it will look the same from the outside, but will look a little bit nicer from the inside as you can see. And then we'll just have another line of upside down oak stairs above it with a line of four oak planks along the top just to make the ceiling look a little bit nicer. And then we can grab our oak fence gates and on the left and the right hand side, so where we've got this window and these two windows here, we're gonna have one, two, three oak fence gates, open them all up and have a line of spruce trap doors going across the top just like that, where we can do the same over here. So that's three fence gates and the line of spruce trap doors. And as you can see, that's a pretty cool little ceiling with maybe some high storage shelves. Now we can go ahead and add in the doorway that leads to the balcony out here. So unfortunately you can't place doors on stairs in this version of the game, but we can place them on a full block. So we're going to have an oak plank just behind that one right there, and our doorway can go there. So it looks pretty nice from the outside, a little bit weird from the inside, but it's not too bad really. But we do need to make this a bit smoother of a transition upwards, so we're going to have two stairs either side of it, with three slabs in front just like so. So there we go, we can now access the balcony which is great. Next up we can grab our strip dark oak logs and have two here in the corner with two down the side just like that. Cover them up with light grey carpets or whatever colour you want really doesn't necessarily have to be light grey but we can place our bed down here and just have a trap door at the end of it. And the final thing we're going to do upstairs in the villager's bedroom is just make ourselves a little bit of a table with two upside down spruce stairs. A lantern can go right here with a flower pot beside it. So upstairs we have the mason's bedroom, but down here is where he's going to do all of his working. So on the inside here we do need a couple of things. The first thing is of course a little bit of lighting. We'll just place a spruce fence with a lantern above and maybe a little bit of storage. So a barrel and a couple of chests in that corner can be something that looks quite nice. We'll then place a crafting table just underneath that trap door with two upside down oak stairs beside it. Lever here, maybe some sort of tool or something or other that he uses to carve the stone and then we'll just stick a flower pot there. Maybe a cup to store something in. I'm not exactly sure but yeah that looks quite nice and now we'll start work on this outside area here. Where we first of all need to sort out this ceiling because it is a giant mess at the moment. Especially if you use the crack blocks here because those are a full block and the rest are slabs. So all we're really doing here is just making all of the slabs into full blocks. So when we have a stone brick slab we'll just place another underneath to make it a full block. Same with andesite and same with cobble. So that we get something like this and then very simply we can just do it another level to make it a bit smoother of a transition so we get something a bit like this. It is a little bit dark out here, so we're just going to place a lantern on this top ceiling block here. Could even have a chain if you want it to hang down a little bit lower. But of course, the stonemason needs his trusty stone cutter. That is going to go on this block right here, one away from the left hand side wall. We're going to have a stone brick wall on that block right there with an upside down regular stone stair, looking as though it's being cut by the stone cutter here best I could do with three blocks I would say but there's obviously going to be a little bit of debris you know pieces of stone are going to fly everywhere when this thing is cutting it up so we're just going to place a couple of stone buttons dotted around looking like bits of rock just flying off this machine right here so that right there is the actual working area but behind these trap doors we're basically just going to have a bunch of bulk up stone so using the stone blocks the slabs and then the stairs we're just going to make a big old pile of regular stone. Something a bit like that is pretty good. So really just mix up these three blocks and get something that looks a little bit like that. So that everybody is going to do it for the tutorial of the stonemason's house. I really hope you guys did enjoy this build. Thank you ever so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.